Can't you just use this recent photo? Mm. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. Woohoo! What was this thing that existed from the beginning of time? It was the firmament. And this is the firmament. Hold on to your butts. I have been a very scientific presenter. <laughs> I have backed up every single thing that I have said. <laughs> Scientifically, with DNA, with every single chemical understanding of light and all of that stuff. I never said a single word that I didn't stand behind with some material evidence. No. Are you serious? If you are unfamiliar with our friend Mud Fossil University here, I suggest you check out my backlog of videos addressing what he proposes. You will find out that he is in fact the leading asshole in the state. I have been attacked from day one by people that said the earth was flat. Well, or is flat. That, that's my problems. Is flat. I don't care. It was flat. I now think absolutely it was flat. I, cause I, at, at this point, I am almost 100% certain it was flat. That is a very confusing sentence. Are you now claiming that you are a flat earther? Or are you claiming that you think the earth was a disk and is now not? It's a very confusing sentence. However, all of these other things are true. The firmament, he has separated the waters from above from the waters below. And you say, whoa, 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 how could he do that if it wasn't flat? Well, I'm going to show you how he did it. That moment we have all been waiting for. Mud Fossil University is going to explain how God supposedly did something. First of all, what is a firmament? And everybody thinks it's a... Mud Fossil goes on to read the Wikipedia page. Well, ain't nobody got time for that, so we're skipping it. I have shown, literally proven in my world, that water is electrons. Huh? What I... What? Mud Fossil University thinks himself a expert in literally every field that you can imagine. He has countless videos that are just as asinine as this one on this topic of electron floods that he talks about. Maybe I'll get to it. Chemistry isn't really my area of expertise, but you don't need to know a lot about these subjects to find flaws in what he talks about. Everything is made of electrons. And water is the most essential, basic part oxygen and hydrogen. It's the basis of all the rest of chemistry, basically, really. I let this clip run in full in order to give you an understanding of why I have to edit and chop together these videos so much. If I showed full clips, these videos last twice as long and it would be full of hand waving. Hydrogen is the basic particle and below that there's still particles. There's 1700 or 1837 or something like that particles that make up the hydrogen nucleus. He didn't pull the 1837 number out of his ass. That is how much smaller an electron is than a proton, about 1 divided by 1837. So, if he thinks everything is made of electrons, for some reason, he thinks a proton, or a neutron, is just a big clump of electrons. This is fully not understood, totally not understood by anybody. They think one big proton in the center. What the hell is wrong with you people? This is what I say. We have to understand this to be able to understand separating the waters from the waters. Now, I have shown a million times One million dollars that the particles can separate and the electrons that we shot through a Venturi that Rod Warren designed, we shot light through that. This is your classic conspiracy theorist rabbit hole. 
do your own research, watch these other 5,000 videos to get you off track of what we're talking about here and beat you into submission over the head with my nonsense. The light itself turned into particles so that we know they're particles, we know they accelerated, and we see them concuss. On one hand, we have a century of the world's greatest minds researching and studying and publishing hundreds and hundreds of papers on the nature of light. On the other hand, we have Mud Fossil University. I, I get into the very deeply into the molecules and all that, but let's just stay with the particles. The particles that make everything are electrons. The amount of time to explain how he's wrong would require more than I'm willing to spend on this particular YouTube video. Besides, we're here to talk about the firmament, not electrons. So, please check the description below, find some links, follow some quality science educators, or if you really want an in-depth quality knowledge of this, go to the library, find some actual scientific articles on the subject, educate yourself. Just assume that water is what God is talking about, the electrons. How kind of Mud Fossil University to speak for God. Because it's all it is, is electrons. At one place they condense and another place they don't condense. So that's all it is, is water. And above the firmament they don't condense, they are the particles of light. So water is simply condensed light and both of them are just electrons? Huh. Bullshit. They are the ether. All of this was fully understood at one point in time. And then as they compress, they condense. That's where you get water from. So the water's above from the water's below. So when God said, let there be light, he was actually squeezing the waters of the deep in there. Surprised that they didn't say that in the Bible. We all know the sun spits particles out. It has to be particles. This absolutely, I can't even imagine how they came up with the fact that nothing happens between here and here. And then all of a sudden the earth gets hot and, and the, the, you get sunburned and everything else. Mud Foss University is so ill-informed on these topics, he doesn't seem to grasp the concept of radiation, which is how this process works, but he doesn't know these things, so he claims superiority over modern science without understanding modern science. Once they lock in on a, a theory, everybody has to follow in line. That was so terrible, I think you gave me cancer! This is a common trope among conspiracy theorists and creationists and people of that ilk that science is this set in firm stone foundation of paradigm and the elites won't let you change it and all these other gobbledygook. The reality of the situation is scientists pursue their goals with the hopes of refining and changing and finding the next great leap forward in their respective fields. This right here my friends is the firmament. Right. It's a layer, it's called the ionosphere. The ionosphere is the firmament. I will admit that is a novel concept. It's a layer of electrons that is so dense that it is condensing and creating water that feeds our planet and life. Here we have a perfect example of when you start with a false premise, it leads you to an even more false and ridiculous conclusion. Water is not just electricity. Atoms are not just electricity. We have never found evidence of water existing in the ionosphere because water doesn't exist in the ionosphere. But I love, I love the fact that he's going to try to explain it. And it's going to be hilarious. This is the firmament. It separates these waters, which are particles that emit from everywhere. These are the electrons. These are water. I no way you can discount that. Because once they condense, they are water, H2O water. Up here, they're just electrons and photons. They are particles of light, which is the water up above, and this condensed particles of light is the water below. Did you enjoy that in-depth explanation? I know I did. This concept is flawed from the get-go. 
he is running in with the assumption that everything is electrons and just how deep you squeeze the electrons results in different properties. That's a fatal flaw. So in his view, since water is the most important thing in nature and everything is an electron, therefore everything is water. Your water, your computer is water, your house is water, space is water, everything is somehow water in this messed up definition.